What's going on everybody, Star Trek Galaxy bringing you a video today. In today's video, we're going to be doing a product review on these little gadgets right here called Glove Lock. I found out about these a couple years ago, and I wanted to purchase them, but I never really had a use in my mind. I never thought that these laces right here and the thumb and pinky, them coming loose was such a, a big deal with them coming loose. I thought it was just some little thing that really didn't affect the way the glove worked or how you played, but the more I looked into gloves and the more I got into gloves, found out that it was very important that these laces stay tightened and I always ran into the issue of them untying so I decided to finally buy these I got the, the royal blue so it goes with the royal blue on the glove obviously I was gonna go with orange but then it felt like it was just gonna blend in um, you can see here that you know you go from that to this right here them you know each individual ones on the individual lace itself and it keeps it tightened and it says right here the laces for your thumb and pinky are there to keep your glove locked tight on your hand, but they constantly come loose and need retightening. Letting the ball slip out from the loose glove is not an option. Now you can guarantee those laces stay locked down. With your hand locked in and the ball secure in your glove, and the ball secure in your glove with glove locks. From little leaguers to big leaguers and everyone between, if you own a glove, you need glove lock. Now the directions here, um, untie the knots, push the glove lock down, but push the button on the glove lock down, insert into the lace, pretty much self-explanatory, let's go ahead and open these. Alright, let's see. Now, I think I might pick up another one depending how well these work out. From the reviews I've seen, they work pretty well, might get one for my 44, so what you're supposed to do is just... Go ahead and put these right here. You push down on here, insert the lace through that little opening there, and then you let it go and it tightens. And they give you four in the pack, so you can have two on each side for the thumb and pinky. So let's go ahead and put it on. Just gonna start with this lace right here. So you push down, insert the lace. Okay, make sure lace is straight when you put it in. Okay, so then you want to push it down, pull the lace all the way through. Okay. Do the same thing for the other lace. Ah, slipped on my hand. Now that they're in, they feel very secure. The laces aren't pulling, you know, they're tight, work pretty well, I guess you want to get it as close as you possibly can to the glove, so I'm fairly on the glove there, let's go ahead and do the other side. Alright, have them on the glove now. Now, to my knowledge, you can still tie them, and there's no problem, and they still will come undone. You know, it kind of defeats the purpose if you tie them with them on it, but if you tie them, there's not so much tension on the knot, so it's it'll probably take a little bit longer to untie, since there's not so much tension in the knot. All the tension is going to be down here holding it. So, you still can tie them if you don't want to have the laces all, you know, flopped around like this. Um, I don't know if they will, you know, how long it would take in order for it to uh, come off again. But, I mean, you want to tie it, you can still tie it. No problem with that. And I mean, you know, they work. They work. Keeps it tight. The thumb and the pinky are definitely... Uh, you know, it's a little bit easier to adjust, I think. You can just press the button down right here. Press the button down, and then you can just pull on it to tighten it. Or, if you want to loosen it, also just push it down, and then you loosen it from the inside. Um, it's a little easier, in my opinion, than having to untie the knot, and then, you know, readjusting it. So, I think it's the best way to go, is to get these. Um, if you want some, I highly suggest buying some. Uh, I'll leave a link 
down below, probably in to their direct store, the Amazon store, whichever link works, and sometimes links don't work. But I'll definitely leave a link down below. I highly suggest picking them up. They're pretty cool. And I'm definitely going to pick up some red ones for my uh, custom 44. Run that, guys. Yeah. It's been Star Trek, guys. Later.